What's the password? What's the password? Hey groovy guys and gals, cats and kittens, Elliot's and Maisie's. We are at my Geek Club Model Club. And we are having an auction because they're selling the airplane hangar that we need it. And there's all sorts of very cool cars in here that are all going to be going. Man, the work day's over and it's time to escape. Man, that was a long day at work. Let's go into the corner of the garage. I cleaned out a space where we can escape to our childhood, to creativity, to the wildness of model making. This was the time and the place. And look at that price tag. You can't even barely buy anything for a buck anymore. We're in the garage and we're rocking it tonight. But look at these model kits. Oh. Oh, now of course I don't have my glasses on so I can't see a thing here, but I will go up these models. These are going to all be auctioned off tonight to the group, and there's a great amount of builders, and these builders, let me tell you, they are building for the magazines, for model companies, for their photographs, for their boxes. These guys are the top notch of the top notch. Trixie's here with me. She and I would do this soda pop and Trixie and I used to come to these but not anymore. So that is awesome. Look at all these kits. Look at this. That is so cool to me. Oh, I've got about 400 kits. Look at these things. You've got all sorts of genres too. It's War of the Worlds. Very cool. Zombies. Oh, look at this. Here's another. Star Trek. That might have been used to have been mine from my friend that passed away. The model club came in and took all his kits and sold a bunch to help his his uh, mom out. Space 1999. Very cool. Oh, look at all this stuff. Don't you wish you were here buying all this? You could have it all for yourself. Oh, look at that. So many cool things. Oh, look at this. So many cool things. Totally cool, but not a new Johnny Roman Simple Club, though. I keep looking, though. I keep looking. Star Trek. And this model club's been together forever, which is really cool. And they just help out so many people, really good people. Look at this, a duck. When's the last time you saw one of those? That's pretty awesome. Up in the Dells, right? Wisconsin Dells. Oh, here's a giant mantis. You could have a giant praying mantis. Oh, a Tiger One. Look at that, T-Cat. Pretty cool. T-Cat, all these guys are pilots here. So that is really sweet. And maybe someday, this guy right here, he's rebuilding a bomber, a real bomber in his barn way out. Moango. Oh, look at this. And maybe someday we'll go out there and do a video so you guys can see it. It's really cool. Look at this setup. Oh, I'm digging that. Uh-oh. Don't let the models collapse. 
Oh, look at this, a pontoon bridge. They got a little bit of everything. Ghostbusters, the terror dog. Oh, I know that was my friends. Look at all this, pretty cool stuff. So the auction is gonna be tonight. It's gonna keep going. Oh, look at this. That is really cool. Dave Deals. The Messer Schmidt. Oh, I love that. Look at these. Oh, here's another Star Trek. You you know the guy. What is that about the Kevin stuff? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Like at least get the submarine parts for something already bought. Bummer. Oh, look at this, a Tom Daniels school bus. So much fun. Oh, oh look at these. Look at that. Oh, so much fun. So that's it. It's all the models here. They're still coming in. They're still piling them. I'm piling them. People are slowly getting in. Got an old Mustang here, and then there's more kits over here. Look at that. Is that unbelievable? Just so cool. Look at this. Oh, oh, I'm telling you. Just a little bit of everything. And I'm telling you, these guys, again, are all top-notch builders. Look at this. If you love model kits, get into a model club. I'm telling you, this is a great, this is a great, great, oh, look at a weirdo's kit, Hobbit. You never know what you're going to find. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Look at this. We're talking about a loser. Look at this, guys. It's a British Phantom. What do you think? Pretty cool. Look at that. 25th anniversary. Very nice kit. That is sweet. Again, they dug in a little bit deeper here, so we got some more kits. They are trying to get everything out today. Well, we're no, going through it. Oh, look at all this we're, stuff. We're going through it, so the stuff that the boxes are decent, we're going to, you know, some of this is in on for sure. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> UFOs. So much fun. Galactica. Star Wars. More. Oh. And look. <laughs> This is all the people here. <laughs> Everyone's masked and social distancing, so that's good. But there's a lot of people. And then you've got cool cars still. Oh, look at that. I'm telling you, so very awesome. These guys are all top-notch guys around here. This thing is cleaner than, oh, I don't even know. Holy smokes. Look at that. That thing is beautiful. I don't know what's under this one, but the wheels are about as wide as my gut. And that's pretty wide. That's all I have to tell you. So cool. Convertible on this Mustang. Very sweet. They used to have a bunch of old military stuff in here and all sorts of fun. Like, uh, 
Oh, 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 <laughs> the table gets fuller and fuller and fuller. <laughs> they just keep piling more and more kits coming out. Got the bad one. You never know what's in the box, which is really cool, so that is exciting. They try and go through everything. You got airbrushes, you got little uh, test tube things. Now one guy stacked all the kits over here that he wants. So these are all the kits he wants. And he'll bid on. You got the Oh, this is sweet. Look at all these kits. So here's the car. You got a kick tail on it. Look at the tires on this thing. Ah, oh, I wish I could take the cover off. Low profile tires on it. I don't know. Look at that shape. I don't know. What is it? Very cool though. So we're in an airplane hangar at an airport. And this is where a model club meets because most of the guys are pilots. And one of the guys had his plane here and all his stuff. So here's the back of that Mustang. Totally cool. You can kind of see on the inside. I was hoping he, he has a military Jeep all tricked out. Beautiful. Maybe we'll get a video of that someday. It is more tanks coming out, more models. It is crazy. And the people are ready to go. So, let's rock it, baby. Are you lost, alone, bored to death, not making good choices? Put down the hammer, put down the razor saw, don't play with matches, stay away from daddy's vice. That will destroy all your toys. If you destroyed all your cars as a kid, come to Johnny Roman Supper Club and you will see all the cars that you destroyed at some point, some way, somehow. Relive those childhood memories. Oh. <laughs> I think we're all a little crazy, but let me tell you, we're going to show you good cars, clean cars. It's free! All you have to do is subscribe, and you can see all the cars you had as kids. Come to one event, come to them all. We've got videos all the time. Subscribe, subscribe on our YouTube channel at Toy Car Case. Oh, I get so excited when the toy cars come out. Johnny Roman coming to a supper club near you. Check out the Toy Car Case YouTube channel and subscribe. No animals were hurt during the filming of this commercial. However, several cars were obliterated. Okay. Now it's been a couple days since the auction and guess what I bought? from all the stuff you saw. <laughs> okay, some things we saw and some we didn't. So this, this is interesting because this is a little box of parts because I am known as a crazy builder. So I would take pieces and parts and add to this. So one of my friends who was a Vietnam era pilot fought in the war gave me this beautiful box of stuff. Now this is some wheels and tires and some uh, tanks and things like that, like gas tanks, which is really cool. And I know that's goofy, but this is the first thing I bought. Now I hope the co-worker isn't watching quite yet. Oh, I won't watch it until I see him next and give it to him. So anyways, I found this little bag and I thought it was army soldiers, but look, <laughs> can you tell? They're zombies. <laughs> it's a whole bag of little, I'm guessing about 172nd scale zombies. 
<laughs> Look at this bag. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you're zombie people, you would love this thing. I don't get it, <laughs> but I know the co-worker does, so... Oh, look at this one. He's even laying down. <laughs> oh, come on out of there. Look at this, he's going, Help me! Help me! It looks like Grizzly Adams. <laughs> so I don't know if this is like the normal guy or is he a zombie guy but either way he's on the ground not having a good day <laughs> oh <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know if you want to see more of these <laughs> but it might take forever to look at them all but there's that's a fun little bag that I know he's gonna enjoy and put to you so are you ready Kid said I bought. Look at this. I know I'm not an airplane guy, but I've got these. I brought these home. Look at this. Whatever that is, a 172nd scale, which is really cool. And it's an airline brand. Copyright 1964. Pilot figure, movable propellers and wheels. Look at that. That is pretty sweet. Uh, incorporated New York, New York, made and litho in USA. <clears throat> so here is like a cutout collector card. Look at that. In full fighting. Free kit offer airlines testers send any 12 different airline cards and receive 79 a 79 cent tester paint kit free use the 24 different airline cards to receive any airline kits of your choice free so well <laughs> if you send them the card how do you get to keep the card so let's see if I know most model guys open their models just to check it out. Now, I didn't look in here to see if all the pieces were here. But, let's see. Here's the base. It's a clear base. Here's some decals. You've got the body halves, which is pretty cool. And planes are... I mean, the guys in the club, let me tell you, they go all out with these. Oh, yeah, this is really nice. Look at this old stuff. It is the all-in-one instructions. So you just have all everything in one picture. So you got to kind of figure out how to do it oh no they do here they go so there you go you've got all the stages to put it together and then on the back I love this it gave you a history of it so you could actually figure out and understand where this the actual piece came from and you can understand the importance in the war and what part it played and then here's painting suggestions. Oh, two cool things. So, on the back of your card, on the back of the kit, here's a thing printed on the inside of the box. So you're printing a whole nother side of the, the piece to get this information on the back. Here's your checklist, so here's all the different airplanes that were available. Which is, again, this kind of stuff is really cool because you might not have all the information for all the different kits. So I know you're memorizing these as I scroll down, and that is awesome. You guys are young and have these great memories. And then here is the history 
on the back of the airplane card. But why send in the airplane card? Send something else in. So, you know, they, this was pre-UPC code, so they couldn't send that in. You know, here's the specifications. Size and everything, liquid-cooled engine. But again, this is very cool information. Now you can pause that and figure all that stuff out. I'm going to try and cover up these decals to protect them a little bit. And I might put them under this brochure. Aircraft painting and instruction booklet. Look at that vintage look to it. <laughs> oh, look at all these kits. That is so cool. The Mitchell Bomber. Look at this. Vickers Vimy Transpeed Oxford Trainer The Bristol Buford Torpedo Bomber Look at that thing That is amazing Oh it opens up an accordion fold Martin Marauder 2 bomber. Look at that. Oh, the Super Marine S6B Racer. That is kind of crazy. And it's <laughs> that rail is, or that float is right on the edge of the piece of paper. Martin Baltimore bomber look at that just gorgeous look at that I don't even know Moraine Soliner 406 fighter Look at this, so cool. The Blackburn Skua dive bomber. Is that a, no? And then here's all the other kits available. Again, they're promoting and selling, so you can see all the different airplanes available. And then a little promo for all their paints. Testers PLA Pla enamels in the display. And then on the back, choose authentic colors from the Testers Finishing Center. Study instructions. Look at that studying, guys. That's how you study. Fit pieces together before assembling. Paint small parts first. Clean brush thoroughly. Shake paint well. Thin paint. Paint light colors first. Oh, look. It's got an uh, air gun. Work on two, three models at a time. Yep, we do that and none of them get done. Flow paint on. Finished model to be a finished model to be proud of. And here's all the written instructions. That's a pretty cool little piece. So I'm going to put these down and the instructions over it so that lays flat. And then try and tuck these on the bottom here and see if I can carefully flip the dip the dip the do all those pieces back on there but isn't that cool I love vintage kits like this so that's one here is number two 
Look at this. So cool. And these are tiny 172nd scale kits. Again, it's like... Look at that, a $1.75 Czechoslovakia toy. Look at this. Harry's Hobby Shop! Northwest Highway! That's the place I used to go! Remember me telling you about that just the other day? Oh, 126 South Northwest Highway, Palatine, Illinois, and there is the phone number. Oh, oh, how cool is that? Look at this kit. Ava. And again, oh, this one's nice when it shows you all the pieces and parts and where they are. So you don't have to hunt through like a thousand different sprue. But this shows you how to put this baby together. And let me tell you, remember, Harry's Hobby Shop literally had a gabillion planes hanging from the ceiling. And man, I would have loved to know whatever happened to all those airplanes um, when he sold the business. Here's all the decals. Very interesting. Oh, look at that. Again, these planes were pretty simple. And these are almost Roroco mini tank size. Little flashing on that. So you glue that together, put a big stinking rubber band around there. Clean up all the sprue pieces. Oh, so much fun. And this is like back when boxes were like super sturdy. This is a thick, heavy cardboard box. Here's the next kit I got. Look at this. A swordfish. <laughs> Airfix. Elliot, this is the same manufacturer, the kit that you sent me, dude. So that is really cool. Look at that, Messer Schmidt. M-E-100-D, I think. Made in the USA, Mosquito. There's the airplane that we got. Fairly swordfish torpedo bomber Look at that. Oh. look how cool that is now this one seems a little bigger maybe it was a bigger airplane than the last couple uh oh <laughs> Yep, <laughs> I've got one side of the plane and not the other. So this is a total wash waste, a piece of wasted money. <laughs> Should have opened up the thing, but let me tell you, <laughs> the price was right. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Too bad, so sad. Maybe it's in one of the other boxes. By luck. Look at this. Look at this weird airplane setup. That is so wild. Again, airfix. Tells you exactly how big it is. Nineteen eighty six, I see on there. So we've got two body parts, so that's good. And then it looks like the rest is in this bag. And knowing my luck, there's probably half of it missing. <laughs> oh well. 
Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. Oh no, I see both halves in there, so that's cool. So whoever it was actually helped out on that body. So, again, if you're a disorganized person, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this. Here's the decals. I opened up that thing and all this stuff fell out. Here's this thing or whatever that is. Nothing on the back. And I was trying to open this up so we could see the instructions. So here's one. It kind of shows you putting the plane together. And then here is the cockpit and everything. Wow, that looks pretty detailed. And here is the accessories and bombs and all your other components. Look at that airplane. I've never seen anything like that. That's kind of goofy looking, but cool at the same time. How could that thing ever fly? Look at that tail on there. <laughs> I kind of liked it just because it was so weird and different. So I'm going to pick these parts out and put the decals flat down so hopefully they will flatten out on the bottom and then the instructions on it. Oop. Now this looks like a better molding, less flash. So you just glue those babies together, put a rubber band around it so it kind of stays together. You've got short and long wings on this thing, so again, just very fun building a model. I know it's not Hot Wheels, that's okay, we got some in. Actually, I found some ones that I hadn't seen before in the store, which is like unbelievable. Oh, here's another piece that a friend gave. This is a candy dish, real thin, blow, blow molded. But look at this detail. That could be added to something really cool. And then painted, and then you've got these weird little cool things. But my friend that gave me these and the other parts, he uses this to mix his paint in. So it's perfect. You got a thousand little holes to mix your paint in. So that is really cool. Then we got this. Again, scale collectors miniatures. I don't know what kind of plane that is. And <laughs> This was just to help out the club. I, I mean, people were buying stuff that were just pieces and parts and, you know, just to help out the club, raise some money for some of the um, events that we do and, and spaces that we have. So, no million dollars yet, but maybe someday. Oh, now this is just a one-sided printed page. Look at that. That's it. That's your airplane. Wow. And it gives you all sorts of painting instructions and stuff like that. Those are the directions written out. Here's all your parts listed out and the numbers on it got a warranty let's turn that one in and see if they uh, abide read carefully read all instructions and become familiar before you start and here it is actually sealed in the bag so that is cool again a little 172nd scale which is about my Roco mini tank size so that's always cool at least that's the scale that I would buy uh, at Harry's Hobby Shop so, oh, and here is your decals, the tail fin decals, very cool. And I'm going to tuck those in the page, so hopefully they don't 
get damaged or but this is a kind of a different type of box for this now I remember I don't know if any of you guys are gals cats kittens Elliot's Maisie's out there remember there used to be some models that were in the shape of a match book and I think they were called matchbooks so they were like triangular shape like the old matchbooks so here's the next thing it's a Mideast Militia which is very interesting so you could set up whatever you want with that Oh, those are a little bit bigger. I don't know what scale those are. And there's the clear bases to glue them on. Very interesting. They all have little tabs on their feet. You see that? So you can like drill little holes and put it into something. Kind of scary to think about. Actually, that came with one of the models that I wanted. It's <laughs> really wasn't on my goal but this one was kind of cool I like this one this is a German Ravel uh, flak set so you've got all these little tiny flak guns in here here's the instructions and again this is like um, Roco mini tank size so that is kind of cool so the one thing and again this is a couple days later the one thing that I really wanted was there was a six wheel Jeep 172nd scale which was really cool the bidding went way high on that higher than my comfort zone so I didn't get it but the guy that got it opened it up and said there's all these top military uh, officials, German officials in there. And he's got a diorama set up. The, one of the others was the uh, Dave's deal. And um, someone outbid me on that. And that's okay because once they opened it up, it was really uh, <laughs> not that good. Look at this. This gun. Just so nice. And these pieces aren't super... I'm looking for a figure. Yeah, this is a little bit bigger than 172nd scale. So, yeah, 135th, I'm thinking. 36. So, anyways, uh, that didn't go. And the school bus. The, the uh, Tom Daniels school bus, that... It went for half of like retail, but still that was more than I was considering. So here's the one thing that I got that is so different. And I don't know if you'll know. This is a resin kit. And see if you can recognize it. So these are the two pieces that go together for part of it. And again, working with resin is totally different. And you've got these tail fin things. And then the nose of it. This is actually quite pretty big. So it goes like this. And then these pieces here. This is the tail fin back here somehow. Then you've got these, you've got a bunch of more pieces, and here's the decal. Now I was going to look it up, and I didn't. Orville. So do you know this? Planetary Union Central. <clears throat> so you've got a bunch of little resin pieces in here that are kind of curved and there is an instruction sheet so these kind of fit together going up and making this really wild kind of arch thing 
Let me see if I can find the instructions. Here's the instructions. So here's the finished piece, which looks very cool. Look at that thing. And I think this is a discontinued resin kit. So this is what you got to do with resin. Have fun and good luck. <laughs> That's basically what it says. But this one also comes with a PlayStation Atari Anniversary uh, game. <laughs> Which, um, I don't have the gaming system, so kind of wild. And... So, I didn't pay this much, but this is the invoice that was in here. Holy smokes! Someone paid 175 big schmackadoons on this one. Oh, that is wild. Now, do you know it? Or not. I'll probably look it up when I'm uh, doing the, the editing on this. These decals are a little jacked. So that's too bad. But it doesn't look too hard to recreate. These are good. But look at this thing. Is that wild? This is $175. You know how many bags of french fries I can eat for $175? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> so somehow this all fits together. There is the instructions and, and it's like that. It's just wild. Just so cool. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm not a really big huge space guy but I couldn't pass this one up so I might resell it a friend of mine does stuff on the internet on eBay and stuff or I might try Facebook marketplace but I could get all the money back that I spent on kits if I can sell this for the right price so is that the pieces and parts you guessed? Just some fun stuff. It's too bad on that one plane missing half the body. A ah, crazy dude. Anyways, thanks for coming into the supper club. This was my geeky geekyoid model night that usually happened once a month, which I really look forward to. It is such a great group of guys. They're all just super fantastic model builders, scale builders, and just high-end people. Um, really fun. And I, I realized I've probably been going there for maybe 10 or 12 years. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> One guy is talking to him and telling him how old Trixie is. He's like, man, I'm getting old. Man, I'm getting old. <laughs> That's all he kept saying. It's so funny. So anyways, thanks for coming in, and we will see you on the flip-flop. And uh, I think the next couple videos, we've got, we've got like Hot Wheels things that need to be done. We got uh, like brand new Hot Wheels uh, in the package. And uh, we still have that uh, whole case of backpack of cars that um, my... Uh, my boss's boss gave me so there's all stuff in there and I think his kids are about 20 ish 15 20 so you never know if aunt, aunt or uncle or you know uncle fester could gave them something so there might be some cool cars in there you never know but thank you guys gals cats kittens Elliot's Maisie's uh, Adams in DC Saul's overseas Miss K's with the coolest displays thank you all for supporting me for being my friend for so many years t cat elliot ah oh, there's so many people out there that i just really 
enjoy. They've become super great friends. And even though we've never met face to face, oh, I look forward to every comment from these people. She's snaily. She's snaily. <laughs> Always makes me laugh. Just so much fun. So anyways, this is a geekoid, modeloid type of videoid for you. Hopefully you weren't annoyed. <laughs> so, thanks for coming into the Supper Club. Remember, life does not start till after 316. Rock on, babies! <laughs> Rock on! I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be!